In this video, we're going to see how we can make a drowsiness detector. Sleepy? Not sleepy. Sleepy? No sleepy. I'm closing my eyes. Open. Closing my eyes. Open. Closing my eyes. And then fully closed. Open. And it also detects when I'm wearing my glasses. You can see my eyes are wide open. Now I close them. Wide open. Closing. Fully closed. Wide open. Partially. And then fully. Open. Let's see how we can make this code. The first thing I would like you to do is go to my previous video. Now, this is this video with face landmark detection using DLA Python OpenCV. We are going to be using the same code and just build on top of that. So it, this particular show shows how you can detect all the face landmarks on your face. And then we are only going to be using the ones which are responsible for your eye location. And we are then going to do our face thing detection. So one thing I want to show you is uh, this under the Adrian's website Pi image search majority of the code now when, when I was researching for this application majority of the code is from this gentleman's uh, code and he, he has done a very good job but what we we are going to build it from the scratch and he, he has a very good explanation which can also help you and I'll try to go as much as detailed as possible the in, most important the star of this show is this particular paper and it's uh, the eye blink detection and what they're doing is they're using this eye aspect ratio in order to find out whether an eye is closed or open so the face landmarks that we detect in this video so you you can see that the eye is being designed by one two three four five six so let me ex uh, maximize this so you you can see the landmarks more clearly you can see one two three four five and six so each eye, both of these eyes are being defined by these six coordinates. And these six coordinates are going to help us find out whether the eye is open or not. So coming down to this page. So this is a paper by the gentleman here. And it's called Real Time Eye Blink Detection Using Face Landmarks. And we are trying to develop. So this eye aspect ratio is nothing but the difference or uh, the difference between this line and this line so the ratio of this vertical line the distance between this vertical line and the horizontal line that is going to be your eye aspect ratio so you can see when the eye is open that the uh, ratio is going to be you know the length of the p1 p4 is going to be high and this guy should be less so the, the normally the uh, EI aspect ratio is going to be this way. But the moment you close it, the moment you close, the distance between P1 and P4 is the same, but the distance between the vertical lines, that decreases a lot. So that is what causes the effect. And you can easily identify by this peak. So you can see that the eye aspect ratio is decreasing very considerably when the eye is closed. So the ratio is good. It's about 0.25 in this particular case of the eye and when it decreases it goes down to about 0 0.05 so that's when you know that your eye is closed let's see how we can use this particular application this particular algorithm in our own code so as i said now just go ahead and download the original code from there i mean uh, this this application will also, this video will also has its own code in the description below. But if you want to follow along and see how we came to this, I would uh, suggest you to go to the previous video and download that code so you understand how this drowsiness detector is being built upon. So it's, it's almost the same. The only difference you will see is this line, the from scipy spatial import distance. And we're using that in order to calculate this Euclidean distance, which is being used which will be used uh, in order to compute the distances, these two distances. So that's why we are going to be using the Euclidean distance and uh, we'll see how we go into that. So this is this whole the function is a new new block of code in this uh, in the previous application. So this is something new and this is where we are going to be calculating the uh, ear, which is the eye aspect ratio. 
and then compute that ratio in order to find out whether our eyes are closed or open. So coming down here, once you have the face landmarks, the, these are all the face landmarks uh, which are going to be detected and it will be saved in this face landmarks array and we are only interested in those arrays or those points which are going to be defined which are defining the left eye and the right eye how we do that is by this two lines of these two blocks of code so you can see yeah this one so the first step what i did was i started off with understanding where the eye is so if you see let, let me run the code again and I'll show you what I mean by that. The first thing I wanted to find out is where my eye is. So this, this these points which are being drawn on the eye, the, you can see I'm drawing a line, the green color line, which is by defining the eye. It is That is what I started off with by drawing that line first. So in order for me to draw those lines, I would need to know where the eye coordinates are and then draw a line between each of these coordinates in a circular fashion. So it looks like it's a seamless, it's outlining the eye. Once I have that information, then I'm gonna pass it to the EEAR, which is the eye aspect ratio calculator, and then obtain the EAR for each of these eyes. So see this code here. So I'm defining for N range, and now this for loop, this for loop is basically for the left eye, I mean, technically it's my right eye, but uh, on the v on the screen, it's shown on the left side of the face. So the left uh, eye is going to be defined by 36 to 42. So these are points that I'm calculating from the face landmark detector. Let me see if we have the video over here, if he has put it in his, in his face, in his face detector. No, let's look, search for 68 shape detector landmark shape predictor 68 shape predictor eye bug so we'll open uh, this face landmark i think this this page has it even this page has it okay i, I want to show you where how, where i'm getting those numbers from i think i hope he has it here yeah th those these people so it was this people, yeah, this was the original original people who created those uh, data sets that are being used by the DLIB. And you can see, you now this is not, it's too small for us to see. Let's see if they have it here. Yes, perfect. So you can see that the, le the eye here, it has been defined by 36, 37, 38, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and then going back to 36. Then 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 40, then going back to 42. So let's see how we can draw the point. So we basically want to join 36 to 37, 37 to 38, 38 to 39, 39 to 40, 40 to 41. But after we reach 41, we don't want to go back to 42, but we want to go back to 36. So we, with the moment it comes, back to 41 we then change move to 36 let's see how we're coding this so i have created an array 36 to 42 okay 36 to 42 36 to 42 i'll show you for the reason i'm putting 42 is because uh, it's an uh, it's an array and it's only uh, stop at 41 it's not going to go until 42 it's uh, the upper bound of this bracket is not going to be considered so hence we have put down 42 so First, we find out the x and y coordinate of each coordinate starting off with 36. And each of these 36 coordinates, uh, we find out the x and y coordinate. And we are this array, left eye. We are going to be appending that array because we are interested in identif identifying what those coordinates represent for each lo landmark location of your eye. So you, you're appending the left eye array and then you're also defining that the next point so after 36 comes 37 so i'm just defining the next point is going to be n plus one however if the next point if the last point or the current point is 41 then the next point should be 36 because remember we don't want to go from 41 to 42 
we want to go from 41 to 36 so that we can draw these lines. Otherwise, it will draw a line between 41 and 42 going across your face, which we don't want. So we, we want to draw from 41 to 36. And that's the reason I'm uh, looking for n is equal to 41. The moment n is equal to 41, it's going to say that the next point is 36 instead of 42. And then draw these face landmarks. So it's going to find out the coordinate, the x2 and y2, which is the uh, x2 and y2 of the next coordinate and then draw draw a line between xy and x2 y2 so this is the color of the line which is the green color and the thickness of the line is one so it's uh, just simple and we're drawing it on the same frame so this is for drawing one eye so in this block of for loop we are doing two things we are drawing this line across all the outline for our visual perception but we are also appending the left eye. So we are also creating or filling up the array of left eye in this case. I keep uh, I code it as a left eye, but uh, technically it's uh, it's going to be, you know what, it's actually my left eye. Yeah. Well, nevertheless, um, let me not confuse you with my confusion. But uh, the uh, we are having this array and we are appending the array with the x and y coordinate of each of those landmarks so two things are being done one is creating the line and next is the filling of the array the second is the same can the same thing same for loop in just in you know, in case of 36 to 41 like we did up here 36 to 41 we're going to do 42 to 48 and where we are getting those numbers from again going back to the shape detector 48 to 47 and we're doing it till 48 because we're having that upper bound this upper bound 40 uh, 48 is not going to be considered but uh, 48 rules the loop will start off uh, will stop at 47 so we'll do 42 to 47 basically here and it's going to be again detecting the face x and y coordinate we are also appending the right eye the right eye uh, array that we had initialized here we are also going to be finding out each of the coordinates of the right eye and and then you're also defining whether the moment it goes to 47 the next point is 42 but not 48 so hence it can finish the outline of your next the other eye once we know then we are again drawing the eye so that we can find the whole outline and we don't know where the eyes are located the next X, uh, uh, section comes down here is calculating the EAR, the eye aspect ratio, based on this particular paper. So this paper which had shown how to detect the eyes, the blink of the eye, we're going to be using that same thing. And he, we are going to calculate the EAR of each of these eyes. And this is being going back on the top, this function here, which is uh, calculate EAR for each eye so you're going to be first so the, you're providing you're uh, passing the array the array that you had initialized here and filled here in this loop the left eye and the right eye array you're going to be passing that so this left eye and right eye are being now passed to this function up here so you now know what the coordinates of each landmarks are so we are interested in all those six coordinates so A is the distance between the point 1 and 5, which is nothing but point 2 and point 6. So uh, you're finding the distance between point 2 and point 6 and then storing it into the variable A. Similarly, we are going to be passing the distance between point 3 and point 5 and then saving it in the, the variable B, which is here. Same thing. And then once we're done with B, we want to uh, find out what is C and C is nothing but the distance between 1 and 4 which is the biggest the horizontal distance between point 1 and point 4 so once you have C once you have all a B and C then you calculate the I aspect ratio which is given by a plus B divided by 2 multiplied by C and why we are doing that we are first finding the average average of a plus b which is a plus b divided by 2 so a plus b the distance the vertical distance is between point the vertical distance is between point 2 and point 6 and point 3 and point 5 we're adding them and dividing it by 2 so that we have the average of the distances so you know the average height 
and then dividing it by C. So you get the I aspect ratio. And you once you have found out the I aspect ratio, you are then simply passing it back to the code so that uh, the left EAR and the right EAR are obtained. When once you have the left EAR and right EAR, you are just adding both of them and then dividing it by two. So you can see the reason I'm doing two is because the uh, EAR, I mean, both by itself are good to be used, but in order to have an average, because there will be there are times when a person would have would be uh, you know, partially blinking or if he's having if he's uh, closing one eye and has the other eye open then it may not work properly but uh, in order to have that average effect you're putting down both left ear and plus right ear divided by two so you have that average and then i'm rounding it because it's a, a floating point and it gives a very big uh, variable so i'm rounding it into just two decimal points and I have come to know that my EAR, if my I, my EAR, if it drops below 0.26, that is when I'm closing. So when I close my eyes or partially close my eyes, then my EAR drops 0.26. So that, that's something which I've done through trial and error. And normally it, when my eyes are open, it's anywhere between north of uh, 0.30 and north of 0.30. 0.30 or 0.33 that is where my EAR is and the moment it goes below 0.26 then that's when my eyes are closing I'll show you when we calculate when we do it again so then see we put text uh, we, um, the moment it goes less 0.26 I'm just putting this drow word drowsy and word are you sleepy on the image and we're doing that by using the CV put text command uh, if it's too big if it's going out of the frame, let me just put an enter and put them on two different lines. So you're having CV put text and font. So you're defining where the where the word text should be come out and you're defining what font you're using. You're defining the size of the font. You're defining the color of the font, which is red color here. And you're also defining the thickness of the font. Same case here, you're just writing, are you sleepy on a different location? Yeah, so here I had used 20 by 100. I'm here, I'm specifying 20 by 400. And that's, not, that's all it has to do. And then you're just simply going in and showing up on the frame and it shows, are you sleepy? So with that, I mean, that's all it has to do in this particular uh, code. And it's very simple, very easy. We're just calculating the outline of the ear of the both the eyes and then obtaining what where the coordinates of these landmarks are. And it's just calculating the EAR, as simple as that. If this video helps you and if this video inspires you to do other projects, do leave a like, do leave uh, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along my journey in uh, creating and coming up with these uh, nice applications. So if this also interests you, come, up, come along, subscribe to the channel and we'll do it together. If you have any doubts, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or description and uh, I'll be happy to help you with that. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. Stay safe, take care, stay motivated. Until then, bye-bye.